Just now. Anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm none other than Gavin Hughes, Governor General of Mother Margaret Mary Triple M High School, or as they call me on the streets, the Double G. What do you like most about this person? Um, he's like really tall, so if I can't reach something on a high shelf, he can. My boyfriend is super funny. You know, he's quiet sometimes. He'll talk to me some days more than other days, but he's really awesome. He's got like a great smile that melts me every single time. And he's just really awesome. Like he's just, he's awesome. Like he's got great hair. I love his hair. He's got really great hair. And he doesn't smell, so that's always, that's really awesome, so. That's so magic. What is so important about this individual? Well, uh, she gives me nutrients, she gives me Food, she gives me life. If I feel sick, oh, uh, uh. she she makes me something. Boom, I eat it, and I feel good. You know, she's always there for me when I need it. It's a good choice of answer. So, uh, Roy G G, uh, what do you like most about this individual? Well, thank you for asking me that. This individual has served our great and glorious nation for 60 continuous years without a single sign or shred of lack of loyalty or devotion to our great and glorious nation, as well as the great and glorious institution for which they stand. So Matthew, this individual sounds like something. Where do you meet this person? Well, I could write a whole book how I met this person, but I made a few paragraphs, so. Well, I met her on Tinder. You know, the dating pro stuff. You swipe left, swipe right. Anyways, I started loving this image at the age of 13. Only when, only in 2014 was when I knew she was the one for me. We started hanging out a lot more when we found each other's interest. It carried on from there basically with a lot more dates and time together. We finally were a couple. Some people said she was too greasy and expensive, but I say she's beautiful and amazing. If you're watching this right now, you're beautiful and amazing. To the person I'm talking about. Especially, especially them thighs she had. They're beautiful. <laughs> so here, that's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's uh, I'll I'll leave it at that with the descriptions. I met my boyfriend. He actually goes to another school, so I met him at the mall, and like it was kind of like love at first sight, you know? Like we were just we like we just bumped into each other, and you know, we exchanged numbers, and we just kind of. What are you willing to do? Um, I can do stuff for him, like, if he can't get something that's really low because his back hurts, I'd be willing to get down on my hands and knees and, like, reach stuff for him. Because what if his back gets arthritis? I'm there. For him. I would do a lot for him. And I think I need to, uh, no, I need to confess what, I, I need to confess what I have to say. And, uh, yeah, I will always be willing to grab things that she can't reach, stuff on the top shelf, top of her locker. Really, most things she can't reach. Oh, so the mic here, so people can hear me? Oh, yes, okay. yeah, of course. Okay. I, f I forget. So, okay. so Matthew, uh, about this individual, yeah. what are you willing to sacrifice? I really sacrifice a lot for you know, my time, my money, uh, my relationships, my family. You know, like, when I go to her, her place, it's quite the walk, you know, it's like, am I walking a marathon or just going to a place that's like a minute up from my house? Like, <laughs> by the time I get there, it's like, whew. But it's all worth it at the end because she gives me everything to carry on in this world, so. Very nice. Very nice. So, uh, Mr. Gigi, 
Thank you, sir. What, what are you willing to sacrifice for this individual? This individual is so critical, so flabbergastingly important to our nation, to myself, and to the people of this glorious nation and society that we have created here in Canada, that there is no other person that requires greater protection. I would be willing to sacrifice even Justin Trudeau and his entire cabinet of Liberal Party ministers just for the safe being of this individual. Uh, Lord GG, would you like to uh, reveal this individual? Good sir, this individual is none other than Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of England, the British Commonwealth, and the British territories. I know no doubt that many individuals in our school, especially that of Mr. Otto and Mr. Jenkins, will appreciate my saying this in their greetings and in their loyalty to Her Majesty the Queen. G Gavin, you're kidding, right? First of all, buddy, it's Lord Gigi. And second of all, I have never held a more serious opinion of anything in my entire life. Can get out. God save you. Would you like to reveal this person's name? Uh, yeah, it's Juliana Rodriguez. Reveal this person's name. Yeah, I'm in love with Cameron Kennedy. No, I need to confess what I, I need to confess what I have to say. And this is what I have to confess to my boyfriend is that well he doesn't know that he's my boyfriend. <laughs> we like I knew that he liked me and I knew that we liked each other, so I just kind of made it official without like kind of telling him. Um, because like it was kind of like it was love at first sight and it, it was all that sort of stuff. So I was like Whatever, so, so you know, he's my boyfriend, you know, whether or not he knows it, and we're dating. Would you like to reveal this person's name? Um, I'm gonna keep him a secret, um, and, uh, yeah, but we're dating. Excuse we me. are. So, Matthew, to finish this up, would you like to reveal this individual? Sure. You ready? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's KFC. This whole time, man, it was a prank. It's a joke. April Fools, coming to you soon. But I'm sorry, this camera's in there. It's a, it's a talk show. Say hi. Say, say hi to Jimmy Fallon. Okay. See, like the things that I'm not mad because of this. I'm just mad that I, I you didn't invite me. You know, like. I mean, the early early worm gets the burn, man. Right. So if you're the early. There's nothing I can do about it. No, you, you, you can get out now. Like, you can go. You're being really rude right now? I don't appreciate it. How do you think I feel? You went to KFC without me, man. Don't you touch her. She's my baby. <laughs> You're a joke, man. I hope you understand this. With you and her, it's not going to happen. Because I'm around. Here. All right, cool. Right, wait, wait, Rebecca. Between you and me, are you serious? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think anyone would actually confess on this thing. I am not that crazy, and no, I don't have a fake boyfriend who doesn't know that he's my boyfriend. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. You hear that, guys? Uh, Whoa! Oh, get wrecked, you know.